Guys, I am so angry right now, and I am so angry with myself. You see, I recorded a video, and I recorded face cam to go with my video. But if I show you, if I change this and the settings for this, uh, I want to capture something else. Why can't you capture the video? Anyway. I don't know how to do it because this is not being very very hilly. Maybe if I move it here. No, still no. Can't capture the thing. All you need to know, guys, is that I recorded a video and I forgot my mic muted. My mic has on it a button that can mute the mic and I left that button on for an entire hour and 20 minutes uh, just, uh, and the, sa the face cam isn't even salvageable because it's the same thing just Oh. Anyway, so I'm going to list what I did in this episode now, and if you don't watch this video because you're fuckboys, um, you'll hear about it in the next episode. So basically, we got to me conquering Atten and Wayland. That left us with Jabim. I went to Jabim, beat Jabim, then I was told that we needed to kill a moth called Moth Callus, that we need to, to get him for the Emperor. So we show up with our fleet, and he's in an, an Imperial Star Destroyer, and he jumps into hyperspace. So of course we fail that mission, but we fail it purposefully so that the game can introduce a new unit called the Interdictor, called the Interdictor Cruiser. So the Interdictor Cruiser is introduced, we add it to our fleet, we get our fleet, we go, we defeat Moth Callist, and it, that ends the level. We don't need to finish killing everything else that's it's rebel aligned, all we need to do is kill the Star Destroyer. So we do that, and um, then we are told that with this leak to the, to the Death Star plugged up, uh, Dar the Vader can return to the Death Star construction, um, but we can still use him, theoretically, um, or in the game. Then the Emperor uh, gets, or then we get word that the Bothans have chosen a side, even though their planet is still Imperial owned. Uh, the they have chosen to align themselves with the with the rebels. So then we want Emperor Palpatine to land on the surface. So we did that level. So Emperor Palpatine lands on the surface, and uh, we played through that entire level, killed all the Bothans, survived, did it on the first run, um, and then we got back to space, or to the space thing, and we got to the next tech level. So I upgraded all our space stations to level 5, built all of the stuff and things that they gave us, which were gravity wells, and I turned all of the Nebulon B2s that they gave us into uh, what's called a Lonar Strike Cruiser. Lonar Strike Cruiser. With the upgrade to Tech 4, they gave us as well the ability to build the fighters called Missile Boat Bombers and TIE Defenders. I didn't build these per se because I decided I was going to go and build or upgrade my fleet 
with the going to Tech 4, we were able to build Victory 2s. So I turned all my Victory 1s into Victory 2s, and I turned all my Venators into Star Destroyers for the most part. I built about 10 Star Destroyers. But I kept the number of Victories the same. Then I removed all my N1s to make sure more ISDs or Victories would come in. And I removed all the Nebulon B2s in the galaxy. The next mission they gave us was a Tatooine mission, one which I haven't done yet. Anyway, I feel so stupid. Thank you for uh, for sticking with me through and through. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just know that because of this, there won't be a video at 8 o'clock in the morning. Instead, there will be a video at three or later tomorrow and that'll be the Tatooine mission and uh, the Alderaan mission that they're going to give us and then the end of the campaign which is going to be the last couple of planets. Thank you and have a good day.